An Alabama House committee has been meeting today on the proposed gaming bill for the state of Alabama. As currently proposed, that measure would include a lottery, casinos, and sports betting. The bill was introduced last week. Harvest Area State Representative Andy Witt is the chairman of the committee that's taking the bill in, in public input on the bill. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joins us with more. Brian. Right, so Representative Andy Witt said last week lawmakers hope to move quickly to address the bill in the legislature and the first steps in that process are underway. But in order for a gambling bill or a state lottery to happen, a two-thirds vote by both houses of the legislature would be required and then it would be up to voters in November. The language in the proposed constitutional amendment has also been introduced in the House. Now, taking a look at that proposed amendment, it would establish a lottery, allow a full range of casino games at no more than seven casinos. Those casinos would be based in Mobile County, Macon County, Houston County, Lowndes County, Greene County, and the city of Birmingham, with one more in an unspecified northeast quadrant of the state. That is currently ideated as the site for a potential agreement with the Porch Band of Creek Indians. It would also allow sports betting, bingo, and raffles. Now, the amendment says the bill would create a gaming commission with a law enforcement division, independent division. It calls on the governor to negotiate an agreement with the Porch Band of Creek Indians for a gaming license to operate one of those casinos. And if approved by the legislature, the constitutional amendment would appear on the November 5th general election ballot. Now, Representative Witt said the House Economic Development and Tourism Committee would not vote on the measure today. Jerry?